What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, so the other day I had finally gotten my graphics card. I ended up getting the NVIDIA GeForce 1050 Ti Superclocked. Um, I know it's not the best graphics card out there, but it was in my price range. In case you haven't noticed, on this channel I do a lot of budget-friendly videos. So I hope you guys enjoy those. But today um, we are going to be overclocking the graphics card. So um, I will get the camera pointed at the screen and show you guys how to do that. All right. Okay, guys. So first, what you're going to want to do is download these programs called MSI Afterburner and MSI Combustor. They are programs right from MSI, so no worries about any viruses or anything like that. So after you download them, you'll open it and you'll get a screen that looks like this here. And this is where you do your overclocking. Um, you can see mine is already overclocked. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and reset that. What I like to do is we'll click the auto right here that allows you to improve or not improve, um, speed up the fan on your GPU. So we're going to bring that up the whole ways. Then we're going to hit this check mark right here. That's going to apply it. I don't know if you guys can hear, but the fan just sped up a little bit. So after that, what we're going to do is we're going to change the um, temp limit right here to, let's go with 90 degrees. Okay. And right here is where you're going to do pretty much all of your overclocking, um, your core clock and your memory clock. So we'll start with the core clock. And with the core, co core clock, each time you're going to add 40, then enter, and then apply. And then we're going to hit this K button right here, which is going to open up combustor. This is going to run a stress test and see how stable your graphics card is. Uh, let's see if we can get this down a little. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it very well right now, but my core clock is at plus 40, and right now everything with the GPU seems to be fine. There's no lagging here. There's no flickering or glitching or anything like that. <clears throat> so then what we're going to do is we're going to add another 40. So we'll put in plus 80. And then we'll click check again. And that's going to enable that. And normally what you would want to do here is Every time you add 40, another 40 to that is you, you're going to want to wait a minute or two to just see how this reacts to it. Make sure everything stays stable. Okay, and everything here is fine. So we will go with 120, enter, and then we'll click the check. Okay, everything seems to be going all right here. So we will add another 40. So we'll go to 160. Enter. Check. And I have found that for my graphics card, yours might be different. Um, usually... And usually these numbers vary with different graphics cards. Just because you have the same graphics card as your friend, you might not get the same overclock speeds. So I'm going to take that to 170, where I have it, where I feel comfortable with that. And then we're just going to enable that. 
And then next, we are going to move to the memory clock. And this one, you can add bigger numbers. I usually do them in intervals of 100. So we will add 100, enter, and then check. Okay, everything still seems to be fine. So we will add another 100, so 200, enter, and then we'll click the check again. Okay, everything still seems to be running smoothly, so we will put that at 300. Enter, check. Everything still seems to be stable. And in case um, MSI Combustor crashes, that's when you'll find out where your limit to your GPU is. Um, if it crashes, don't worry, you didn't break anything. Um, just close the program hit the um, reset button right here and and then after that go back to your last stable uh, configuration let's see right here see if I can show you guys real quick okay so we'll go with 200 for the core clock enter Okay, well, everything seems to be running stable there. So we will go to 240, enter, and click check. Okay, well, everything still seems to be stable. So we'll go somewhere along the lines. I added 20 instead of 30. So we'll go with 260. Oh, there it goes, and it crashed. Okay, so, then what we'll do is we'll reset everything, um, and then we'll go back to our late last stable configuration, and, well, that, that's what you would do. You would go back to your last stable configuration. I am going to click on number one down here, because I have the configuration that I, like, saved right here. Um, and right here is where you can save different settings and different profiles. So you don't have to reconfigure them and try to remember them for next time. Also, when you're done figuring out your overclock numbers, uh, your overclocking configuration, make sure to click apply at startup. Otherwise, you would have to... Uh, overclock your GP otherwise you would have to re overclock your GPU every time so I uh, so I went back into my saved right here and this is the configuration I like to use all right but there it is guys that is how you overclock your GPU um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.